What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, today's topic is a little taboo, very taboo. And um, we're going to be talking about something that some of us as men can relate to, which is this comment I'm about to read from DDG. Now, before y'all start clowning me, I'm not saying relating to that you agree with him, but I mean, you're gonna be able to say that you've probably experienced it a few times. DDG writes, the JJ be way better when it's stinking. The JJ be way better when it's stinking. Uh, guys, I know you're probably wondering how I make a whole episode of this, but I'm gonna do it. I'd like to go back to my impoverished days when I was broke, dusty, and didn't have nothing, okay? And certain guys are gonna kill me for this, but I, I don't care because because y'all lying, right? When you used to work so hard to get a date, do what you could to get a woman to talk to you. And you know, uh, something, something just ain't right. I, I saw him put like that. We've been there. We've done that. It, it was one time, man. I was actually in Chico, California, man. And uh, the young lady, um, you know, I happened to be drunk, but man, I, I was, your boy had, 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 had dealt in the funk. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, right? But these are the things that happen, more likely to happen when you're broke, you're broke, you don't have a lot. And I'm gonna tell you why a lot of guys go through with this because you just don't know when you're gonna get it again. I, I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. This is, I mean, I'm just gonna tell the truth on this episode. You just don't know. And um, this sort of thing happens more often than women want to really realize and give credit to. One of the finest women in my life I've ever met, she had some of the stankiest, shittiest breath. Oh, I, I swear to God, this woman was beautiful, but if she opened her mouth, depending on the day, oh my God, you would have felt like, like like the devil just took a crip walk in, in, in like an Air Force One's made out of doo-doo in her gums. It was terrible. I used to go back home and think like, how in the hell is she that fine? And when she wakes up, all waste management just coming, just coming through her gums. Now, interestingly enough, brothers, when she took off the drawers, that wasn't no problem. It was just only when she opened her mouth. And, and this is something that a lot of guys are facing. And it's not, you know, some people will think that this is something that happens because she is, a large size, okay? She is a large size, but that, 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 that don't mean anything. They can be large or small or whatever, okay? This is what I'm talking about. It, large, small, or whatever, okay? The, the, the thing that I want to deal with now, if I can, all right? is that this is something a lot of brothers are dealing with. All right, in, in, in the industry. In the industry of what life? I some some ladies out here and, and we and we and we know what we're going to talk about. You go to the club, right? Have you ever went to the club and you just go and you walk by some some ladies dancing and all of a sudden you get that smell? With that smell. Now, 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 what is that? What is that smell? Uh, and again, this is not all ladies or anything like that, but when that weave and that odor, it starts kicking and you really walk by and you get a whiff, all that sweat now. Some of them take their shoes off when they're twerking and you know, they, you know e, e, and you're starting to really look at what's going on with all of that. Um, a lot of brothers start to wonder like, 
is this what I came here for? Like, like I'm just gonna be honest, and this is not to everybody, but I'm just gonna be real, right? Every black man listening to me understands what I'm talking about. Now, as far as it being good or not, some guys would not qualify, let's call it, um, you know, smelly box as box that is good. I'm, I'm gonna leave that up to you, right? But the, but the issue is, is that why are guys encountering smelly box in the first place? This is what we're not talking about, guys. Why are they, why are they, why, why are they encountering this? And this is something that a lot of ladies don't want to talk about, that a lot of these guys are not making this stuff up. When we talk about hygiene, and yeah, you're going to have some dusty dudes. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all have those skid marks in your draw sometimes. We're just going to be real. We're going to be real, family. Uh, your wife sees it. Your girlfriend has seen it. Your cleaners see it. I know for sure. I mean, my mama used to kind of tell me about this. I mean, like, I'm just going to be real. We just gonna, we have we all have had bad days. Um, I used to be afraid if my girlfriend, you know, would, 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 don't, don't, don't wash my stuff. Don't wash my stuff because you don't want her to see that. OK, it, it's, it's different. You know, she started start looking at you a little different, you know, once you really get to see how you really live in, you know, you know, you're not really swiping like you're supposed to, brother. We know. Uh, it, 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 it looks really chocolatey brother um, So what I'm seeing is But some of these ladies got bad days too And then getting on the media Talking about you know They don't need a man They, they got all you know And they don't need no man to take care of them And then you know If somebody was to look at what y'all got and, and everything like that It's okay we're not It's not nice It's not nice and it's not what it's not good it's really not and and this is like something that we don't want to talk about man it, it is you know a lot of brothers is experiencing this and, and, and some of you ladies out there understand that these men are not lying about what they have been experiencing okay we they, they have not been lying about what they have been experiencing i just want to say that just want to say that i'm not trying to throw no shade at nobody but now, whether it's good, I'm going to leave that up to y'all. I've had some stories. If you want to email me and ask me, that's I won't put it on YouTube. But I will tell you, some of you sisters out there, just as much as y'all don't like chocolatey draws from your men and, and, and musty, you know, like you say, N-U-T-S's and all that, y'all need to really check that as to why it's, you know, hanky-panking and stanking, stanking down, down, down there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it real. Um, brothers have experienced that all over the country, and it is and it is and it is often enough. I'm not saying that is you, but I'm saying that it don't need to be you. And for a few times, that might have been you, and that's probably why he might he might not have called you back. All right. So 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 guys, what you think? Well, I'll show you Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Junk. I'm out. Thank you.